Hey, Dr. Hi, Jerry, Heather. welcome to Pleasant Hill. Thank Happy you. Friday. Good to see you. Happy Let Friday. Let me show you yeah, around. Absolutely. Good to see you. So what are we going to go see? Okay, so the first classroom we're going to is Miss Wigginton, and she's one of our Texas State Fellows. I'm very proud. Tell us one about of... Texas State Fellows. What is that? So they are working on the rasters and working for Lander ISD as their first year of teaching. That's and great. And so, so they're good. getting the theory and the practicum at the same yes, time. Yes, all of it at the same and time. It's... We benefit from all the practicum stuff that they're working on. How much money are you spending all together on those wonderful fidgets? What's unique about this is you have a full-time job, but mm -hmm. you, so you're getting the practical hands-on in here in the yes. classroom. But you're also getting the theory and the support from your professors yes. in the program at the same time. So kind of, can you contrast that with what your student experience, yeah. student teaching experience was like? Well, student teaching, you know, you have your um, mentor teacher there all the time. And here, I'm just on my own, <laughs> like a normal teacher would be. Um, but my exchange teacher does come in every once in a while to help support me. So <laughs> it sounds to me like you have a lot more ownership in your learning, right? Yes. So you're in there as the teacher yes. of record, but you're getting all of these supports from the side that's really, if you have any question you know you have multiple places that you can turn to exactly to get that yes I still bet it is intense though I mean <laughs> it's a full-time job and a full-time student that's a lot it's very intense but I will say that all of the assignments that we have go perfectly with what we're doing in the classroom and they're all so meaningful and so it's it's a really awesome experience that what I'm doing for my graduate school also goes along with um, what I'm doing with my kids in my classroom so tell me a little bit about your kindergarten oh, class. Oh man, they're, they're a silly bunch. <laughs> they're making a big mess. <laughs> now you call them silly, but when I saw you in there, you were at your table with the reading group, but you are kindergarten teacher. All over. <laughs> so what's your biggest celebration, Salmon? <sighs> man, just getting through the year. <laughs> in the beginning of the year, it was a very daunting task to figure out how to reinvent something for COVID that I hadn't even really done yet myself. So I think just being able to figure out a way to make it work and see that it has been working has been amazing. It's a lot of obstacles, um, but I've really worked hard to maintain and foster a positive learning environment. And so I would say my biggest success is seeing all my kids just being great to one another and always trying their best. And it's just, I really like my classroom community. It's really good. <laughs> Um, I've never seen you before. You haven't seen me before. My name is Dr. Bruce. So I'm here. You live here? No, I don't live here, but I'm just visiting to see what you guys are up to. Love early childhood. I think it all starts really early. The sooner we can get them, the better. So, so you have full day four-year-old pre-K. Yes. Next year you're going to have half day three-year-old pre-K. That's right. That's a new program for yes, you. Sir. And then you also have, is ELE full day? ELE is a full day, yes, for most students, yes. Right. Talk to me a little bit about the virtual, because pre-K and virtual seems a little I, you know, like that, that might be a challenge. You're right. So you would, you would think so, uh, but Hannah Burns is my uh, pre-K virtual teacher, and she's done such a good job. Like, I was real, same. Like, I, what is that really going to look like? Mm -hmm. But she has such a flexible schedule, and she really gets them for those short, it's short bursts, but mm -hmm. it's a lot of them. All right, how many fish do you have? Six fish. That's a big dinner. So we had a fantastic time today at Pleasant Hill Elementary School. Got to see our Texas State Fellows. Um, what an incredible partnership and how fortunate we are to have the ability to work with such a great university to really train our teachers in the practical work while they're getting their theoretical training at the same time. Thanks for visiting Pleasant Hill with us. I'll see you again soon. Thank you. Go ahead. Give yourselves a pat on the back. Way to go. Way to go. <laughs>